The Sokok Cat The Sokok is a natural breed of domestic cat, developed and standardized, beginning in the late 1970s, from the feral Kadzonza Landris of eastern coastal Kenya. For major cat pedigree registry organizations recognize the Sokok as a standardized cat breed. It is named after the Arabuko Sokok National Forest, the environment from which the foundation stock was obtained for breed development primarily in Denmark and the United States. The cat is long-legged, with short, coarse hair, and typically a tabby coat, though specific lineages have produced different appearances. Although once rumored to be a domestic times wildcat hybrid, a genetic study has not borne out this belief. Another idea that the variety is unusually ancient remains unproven either way. The native population is closely related to an island-dwelling group, the llama cat, further north. Hi there, I'm Grace, and welcome to Kitten's Corner. Here we'll talk everything cats, for cat lovers, just like yourselves. If you haven't already, please be sure to paw that subscribe button, and don't forget to like and ring that bell to be notified of future videos. Before we continue, how about a quick trivia? What is unique about the Soko cat's legs? A. They are polydactyl. B. Their back legs are longer than their front legs. C. Their front legs are longer than their back legs. What do you think? Leave your answer in the comments below. Hang in there, and we'll get to the answer to this trivia question at the end of the video. So, let's take a further look into the Sokok cat. Description The forest population tends to consistently breed true four-ticked coats in brown tones with prominent mottling with large rosette spots, which may fuse. They share this general feature with many other forest-dwelling felids, a natural form of camouflage. Aside from specific patterns, the cats in this population do not seem to vary widely in appearance. The town-dwelling population comes in a wider variety of colors and patterns, including white-spotted coats and mostly black. The urban variety is very similar to an island population a few hundred kilometers north, the subject of a book called The Cats of Lamo. All of these populations are characterized by narrow faces compared to other African domestic cats, as well as long ears, long legs, and a lean, not cobby, body. Relation to other populations Koffer hypothesizes that, due to their isolation and Lama's ancient history, as a trade center between Africa and Asia, they may be more closely related than even the Egyptian Mao breed to the original cats domesticated in the Fertile Crescent over 4,000 years ago, and holding special favor in ancient Egypt. While modern genetic work has yet to prove or disprove Kuffer's idea, a DNA study by the Cat Genome Project at the U.S. National Cancer Institute has determined that the spotted Kadzonzo Street cats of eastern Kenya, the cats of the Lamu Archipelago off the Kenyan coast, and the standardized Sokok are all closely related. CGP categorized them in its Arabian Sea racial group. The group's shared DNA is derived primarily from Asian domestic cats with ancient Arabian wildcat progenitors. This dispels the suspicion of some breeders that the cats are at least part modern wildcat, they are no more wild than the rest of the domestic cats. Advances in DNA sequencing have now resulted in an ambitious whole-body sequencing effort, called the 99 Cat Genome Project which may reveal much more about the origins of the Kadzonzo and its connections and the Sokok with other cat populations. Modern Sokok Breed History The Sokok is a natural breed, i.e., one developed and standardized from the local, free-breeding Landris population. Thus, it is distinct from it by careful selective breeding for specific, fixed traits believed to epitomize the distinctions evolved by natural selection in the original population. As British cat geneticist and pedigree judge Pat Turner wrote in 1993, in the early days of recognizing the breed's standardization, the fixing of traits like large wild-looking spots that are distinct from other blotched breeds can only be done by selective breeding. The breeding program was begun in 1978 by Jenny Slater, who originally named the breed the African Shorthair. She used cats found in and around Watamo, both raised from kittenhood and enticed from the feral adult population with food rewards. Gloria Moldrop, a friend of Slater's,
brought a pair of Slater's cats home with her to Denmark to breed in 1983 because Slater feared for the survival of the native cat in Kenya. The cats were first shown in Copenhagen in 1984, then in Othense. Slater introduced a darker Wadama Street cat specimen into the breeding program, in 1987, for genetic diversity. Breeder and North American Sokok Association officer Pat Longley has suggested that this cat introduced the lynx point pattern seen in some Sokoks. In 1989, Muldrop imported more cats from Kenya to strengthen her European breeding stock. Slater also provided at least one to a breeder named Bob Schwartz in Italy. Jeannie Knocker, an English woman residing near Slater in Kenya, gathered several feral cats near the borders of the forest and kept them penned, producing litters that were exported to the US and Europe, registered to establish future pedigrees, and bred, these became known as the New Line Sokok cats, with distinctive features from those of the Slater-developed Old Line. The cats caught in the forest from 2001 onward have been added to this breeding program, as have some more recent specimens. Whether extraneous bloodlines were introduced by any breeders is unclear. Standardized characteristics The bodies of the Sokoks are medium-sized overall, long and thin, with long legs. The back legs are longer than the front legs, similar to those of a wildcat. They also have a unique tiptoe gait, in part due to a straighter stifle, as well as the long back legs. Their eyes are usually amber to light green, set in a comparatively small head, with long ears, reminiscent of various species of wild cat. However, these are traits intentionally reinforced by artificial selection. The tail is tapered. Sokoks typically have blotched tabby coats in shades of brown, broadly similar to those of the Bengal and Osakat. The centers or oysters of the patterns are hollow-looking due to the aguda gene, which also produces a ticked or salt and pepper look to the coat overall. This combination has been called African tabby or African pattern, extending to the tip of the tail. It is distinct from previously known blotched tabby patterns found in other breeds in this respect, but otherwise genetically identical, with all the normal tabby features. The particular wood grain look is highly prized in show cats. Their coats are sort and coarse but lustrous, with little to no undercoat. Recessive colors and traits are rare. Noted so far are seal lynx point, melanistic, and blue colors. Long-haired specimens are almost unknown. Chaotic, chained, and clouded marbling patterns have been seen with the advent of the new line, as deviations away from the earlier established modified blotched tabby pattern but clearly based on the genetics of the Landris forest specimens from the 1990s. Perhaps owing to the admixture of city specimens, the original Slater lineage also fairly often produces small spotted instead of spotted cats, perhaps indicating earlier crossbreeding with non-native cats. Soko cats are very active and enjoy climbing. They tend to be vocal toward human keepers and other cats with whom they live. They bond deeply with each other, as well as their owners. This trait makes rehoming harder for them, with a longer adjustment period expected in adult cats and older, already bonded kittens. The Sokok does best in a controlled environment because of their limited resistance to common New World cat illnesses, often found in catters and multi-cat homes. Like all of the short-haired Asian group of cats, they do not thrive in extreme cold temperatures for extended periods. However, contrary to previous reports, they can be acclimated to colder climates and do not require special housing any more than similar short-haired, Asian group cats. Their expected lifespan is the same as any purebred domestic cat, with 15 years average old age. Before we wrap up, let's get back to our trivia question. What is unique about the Soko cat's legs? If you haven't guessed it yet, the answer is, see, their front legs are longer than their back legs. Well, that's all we have for the Soko Cat. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know your thoughts and leave a comment below. We'll see you next time on Kitten's Corner.